Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Reviews, and today I'm doing a TNA figure. Um, of course, this is a uh, Sting. <clears throat> this is the TNA Deluxe Impact line. This was from Series One. It was made by Jack Specific in 2010. Um, <clears throat> I really haven't picked up too many of the TNA figures. Uh, but Sting's definitely one of those ones that I wanted to pick up. Uh, one of my top five all-time favorite wrestlers. And uh, you can't find him in the WWE line. Um, and from what I've heard, um, rumors only, the reason being you can't, they haven't made him in the WWE line is because Vince McMahon and him kind of had a, a thing going on and uh, like a, you know, some beef or whatever. And Vince McMahon won't let him make a figure of him. Um, you know, please tell me if I'm wrong. Um, you know, it is just a rumor, but that's what I've heard. Um, but anyways, you know, all the the legend wrestlers that they've made and stuff, they haven't made a sting. Um, so, as far as I know, really to get an articulated sting, the only way to go is uh, TNA, um, which they've made this version. And there is another version, I don't remember what outfit he's wearing in the other one, but uh, I think he had his uh, black overcoat on, uh, which is pretty cool, but I like this one. <clears throat> I wish his face was painted red, he'd be more in like the uh, NWO style. Um, anyways. On the back shows Sting, there's also Jeff Jarrett, Suicide, Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, and AJ Styles. Um, and this was made in 2010. Um, one thing that's kind of funny, I dropped this package and uh, it just popped right off. Like, it was barely glued on, it tore a little bit right there, it just like popped off clean. It was crazy. Like, I barely dropped it, I dropped it like two feet or something. But I uh, thought that was pretty funny, so. Uh, won't even have to take a break. Ham show real quick, and we have Sting. So uh, this will be my first impression with this figure, of course. This is my first TNA figure. The face sculpt looks really nice. Um, you know, kind of hard to see any definition through the paint. Um, but, you know, it definitely looks like Sting. <clears throat> Got a little bit of like paint scuff on there, but not bad. Very cool. Got his black hair. It's got his cool uh, red scorpions down the side, some red on the front. And he's got his knee pads, which his knee pads actually have the scorpion tail on them. And the red pad on the front. That's kind of cool. Then one really cool thing, he's got the white scorpion on his boots. That's dope. Very cool figure. Um, not sure how articulation is going to be on these guys yet, but... Uh, yeah, pretty decent looking figure so far. I like them. Very cool. Uh, the plastic seems nice. Uh, I know when Jack Pacific had the license for the uh, classic superstars of the WWE figures, um, they had a hard time matching the torso plastic with the arm plastic. They would be discolored a lot of times, and that was very annoying. But uh, they did a very nice job with this figure. Um, it matches up really nicely. So that's cool. The only thing I see is, uh, I don't even know if it'll show up on camera, but the uh, joint right there is actually like white. <laughs> it's really weird. It's like a clearish white plastic. They didn't even do that like a skin tone. But uh, it really doesn't stand out that bad. So that's not, you know, nothing to complain about. But uh, let's get into articulation and check this guy out. Um, for his head, you know, swivels and, uh, you know, that's about it. You really don't get any up and down out of that. Um, you get a ball jointed shoulder, of course, goes in and out and back and forward. You get a swivel in the bicep, single jointed elbow, uh, the back and forward pivot wrist, and uh, the swivel in the wrist as well. Um, you get a, and it's the same on the other hand, it's just a, a different molded hand, is molded open. <clears throat> uh, he does have a torso joint, but uh, either mine's locked up or it's not meant to move, because uh, mine really just isn't moving so uh, I guess it popped back just a little bit there we go so it does go up and down just a little bit um, he does have a swivel in the waist um, he does have ball jointed hips that's nice and it also has the uh, separate swivel on the hip which is also great Let's see he's got double jointed knees very nice um, and kind of just like ball pivot joints at the feet, they swivel and they go up and down, it's very cool. So 
very nice figure, I, I have to say. I, I do enjoy this guy. Um, for any of you guys that may be weary about the TNA figures, they seem to be pretty cool. Um, I picked up a couple more, you know, some great figures that I had to pick up. I got like the Hulk Hogan and the Kevin Nash and Scott Steiner and a couple others. But anyways, that was Sting. Thanks for checking them out, guys.